What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to show you how to take a box stock ordinary two-wheel drive slash and turn it into this Atraxxus Monster Slash. <laughs> The Monster Slash conversion has been done before. It's not our ideas, but we felt inspired to kind of put our own twist on the Monster Slash. So I'm gonna show you what parts we use to make this, and then we're gonna take it outside and show you some of the running footage. So the first things that we added to the Monster Slash are Proline Trenchers. They're 2.8 inch tires pre-mounted on black wheels with 12 millimeter hexes. Quick edit in the video, after a little bit of trial and error, we found a wheel setup, an offset setup that we like better than we had previously recorded. So let me tell you what we've done. On the front of the two wheel drive slash, the offset for the nitro rears is the offset you want. If you try the electric rears, the offset's a little shallower. And what happens is the tire rubs on the suspension arm in the front, locking the whole tire up and it doesn't spin freely. So you need the nitro rear offset to have that extra clearance and there's no ribbing. It works really well. For the rear though, you can use the electric rears or the nitro rears. But the electric rears, because the offset's not as, as deep, uh, the rear end actually ends up being narrower than the front end. So if you use the nitro rears on the front and the back of the two wheel drive slash, it ends up being dialed. With the taller tire, now we need to move the body up a little bit. So we're gonna use Proline extended body mounts. The system includes front and rear body mount. This package is specific to the slash two wheel drive and Proline offers these mounts for other vehicles as well. Now lastly, what we're gonna do to this truck is add in a Sidewinder SET ESC and 1410 motor combo. It's the 3800 kV motor. It's gonna be perfect for two cell on this rig and it's waterproof as well. So those are our parts. Let's get building. All right guys, we're ready to tear into this truck and start wrenching. We've got our tools and we've got our tires here out of the package. So let me just dive right into this and start swapping tires. All right, so we've got the tires on. That was really easy and painless and you can tell that the tires being installed uh, just makes a huge difference. All right, so those tires make this thing look super aggressive. The next step that we're gonna do, we're gonna raise the body using our extended body mounts. So we're gonna put the front on first. You need to kind of remove the two screws that are behind this front shock tower and uh, they're a little bit tricky to get to. You just want to pull this front shock tower back a little bit. The plastic flexes really well. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we've got our body mounts on there and they are secure. We have the posts down very low with only five holes showing in between the top brace and the lower brace there. Let's put the body on. That looks pretty darn awesome right there. All right guys, next step for us is the Castle Sidewinder SCT ESC and then we're gonna put the 1410 motor inside. But first, let's tear out the electronics that we've got inside this slash to uh, so make some room for our new electronics, shall we? On our receiver here, channel one is gonna be for the, uh, the servo for our steering. So channel two is what we're gonna disconnect. Gonna pull the plug straight up off the receiver. Now we're just going to unroute the wire out of this receiver box and that's it. Get the motor. Okay, motor is out. So the pinion gear is being held on with a one and a half millimeter set screw. So you need a one and a half hex. Back out that set screw, pulls right off. So I'm gonna set the Traxxas motor aside. Let's open up our castle box. And there we go. So I'm gonna use the same two motor screws to attach this motor in there. And then once the motor is inside and fixed to the motor mount, then I'll put the pinion gear on to make sure it is adjusted correctly. So we've got the pinion gear on the motor. I'm gonna set the gear mesh really quick. Throw the gear cover back on. Let's pull out the ESC, our Sidewinder SCT. So here it is, here's our Sidewinder. A really nice ESC. These things are great units. 
all sorts of different RC applications. Now, the stock speed controller actually has ears where it mounted with two screws. We're not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna use some ProTech double-sided sticky tape, and we're just gonna stick the ESC right on the side of the chassis. All right, the last thing we need to do here is just solder on a connector. All right, guys, just as a preliminary fitting, we put the body on. Uh, we haven't soldered up that connector yet, but we noticed that the body is rubbing a little bit on the back tires, and it looks like a little bit of trimming needs to be done here on this wheel well area. So we're gonna cut that up and make sure there's no rubbing. The Monster Slash is all complete, guys. Our ESC has that freshly soldered connector. All we need to go do now is drive it, but before we do, there's a few notes that I wanna point out. Previously, we mentioned having to cut out the rear wheel wells. The fronts need a little bit of trimming as well, right here in the corner on each side. Also, in all the running footage you see of this truck, we're using a two-cell LiPo battery pack. We are not using the included NIM that Traxxas provides. Also, this is really important. We up the size of our tires and wheels. Originally, they were 2.2, now they're 2.8. We did not change our gearing. Now, typically, some sort of gearing swap may be needed when changing to a bigger tire or wheel size because it changes your rollout. Uh, it affects the gear ratio a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is use our trusty ProTech temp gauge and just check our temps to make sure that we fall within the safe zone. If we do not, we're gonna change our pinion gear. Right now, it's got a 16 tooth pinion and a 90 tooth spur gear, I believe. But we may drop that pinion gear down to a 15 or a 14 if temperatures are too high. If you do this conversion, I recommend you do the same and use a temp gauge to check your temps or just change your gearing. The last thing that I wanna point out for you guys is that A-Main Hobbies has how-to videos on how to set your gear mesh, on how to calibrate your Castle ESC, and then lastly, how to solder on a connector. Those are all things that we did to this truck that we did not cover in this video. So if you need help on any of those topics, go check down below in the description box. I will put links to all of those as well as links to all the products that we used on this truck. If you guys have any comments or questions you wanna make, go ahead and leave that down below. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's go drive this thing.